Hi there, welcome back to Ducoscopy TV. I'm Ben Jones. Is the economy of Spain back on track? On the line with me today to discuss this is Dr. Santiago Sanchez Pages from the University of Barcelona. So, first of all, Santiago, I'd like to look at Spanish inflation. The data released today showed a figure of minus 1%. This is the lowest level we've seen in many years. Why is it at this figure and what does this mean for the Spanish economy? So obviously the, the the culprit for the for the figure of minus one percent in the price level is uh, the in, uh, the fall in in oil prices that we are the, in world oil prices that we are seeing, which has been quite dramatic, especially for Spain, which is a country uh, one of the European countries which is most dependent on on oil. So therefore, for Spain that the energy bill has gone down so much is uh, quite uh, quite an important component of the of this change in the price level however uh, what is interesting is to see is that if you take out from the computation of the price level the energy prices or the energy goods and the food which tend to be the most volatile uh, goods then the rest of the of the of the goods have the, the price of the rest of the goods have just frozen so it has not gone up or down uh, so clearly this one percent is responsible for the oil prices but that also leaves you the a picture where you can see that the ordinary goods have the price of ordinary goods are not going anywhere so the big debate right now in spain is whether this deflation is just temporary it doesn't mean anything bad in particular actually it may be very good because people may feel that uh, well, that the prices have gone down and the money is, is, is worth more, or whether that's the indication that there is a serious economic problem, uh, problem ahead of us. Now, looking overall at the Spanish economy, would you agree with some that are saying it's back on track? So, um, it's true that the Spanish economy has been scoring the the highest uh, growth uh, in, in among the big European countries. But of course, this growth is just 0.5% of the GDP. So it's it's not spectacular. So the, so the, the, the big question is whether, uh, whether Europe and Spain in particular is heading towards stagnation or not. It's true that the macro figures are very good. But to be honest, uh, from my perspective, I don't see uh, reasons for to be extremely optimistic because th there doesn't seem to be a plan uh, on wha where the Spanish economy should be should be going. So, from that perspective, and also given the dire situation of so many unemployed people and people with uh, uh, very temporary jobs, then I'm not that sure that the Spanish economy is going to take off uh, dramatically. So maybe whether the Spanish economy will be performing strongly or not uh, lies at the moment on at the, in the hands of the European Central Bank and any expansionary policies that it may be taking in the next uh, few months. And finally, we've seen improvement in Greece in terms of data. However, on a ground level, the people of Greece aren't really seeing much improvement. When we look at Spain, would you say that people are seeing an improvement? So uh, I think that um, from what I've just said, it's true that this decrease in, in, in prices, so for instance, transportation and things like that have decreased their, their, their prices or or, uh, uh, or in food, that is helping people to uh, feel better about how the economy is going. It's also true that last year the the, um, the Spanish economy uh, created jobs for the first time in a long time. Uh, but as I said, um, the costs of this uh, of the Great Recession have been distributed very unevenly across the Spanish population. We have. Um, a huge amount of the unemployed people right now, which we know already is a very high uh, percentage of the overall population, but a big percentage of the unemployed people are long time uh, long term unemployed. They have been unemployed for more than two years. So we might be facing uh, what some people call a lost generation, that is a, a, a relatively big fraction of the population with low human capital. Uh, temporary and, and 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 not very safe jobs, and so because of that, I'm not particularly optimistic about uh, 
time is people seeing uh, uh, an, an improvement, even though the macro figures may be, may, be being, may, be, may be catching up. Santiago, thank you very much for joining me today. That's all we have time for for now. Keep clicking back to Duke Scopi TV for plenty more exclusive interviews. Goodbye.